Week 38 Day 1 The Enigma of Fashion of all the pressures young people face, the most pernicious is that of fashion. By this is meant the current vogue in dress. The teenagers, who are so glib when they speak of individuality, are turned into a homogeneous mass by the latest craze in fashion. How can youngsters who vehemently resist advice from the older generation become so malleable in the hands of those who make fashion? Perhaps the sudden shifts in fashion occur fortuitously. Or is there some group who, through ledger domain, switches styles and customs on us right before our eyes? Today's teenagers seem to be quite gullible when it comes to embracing the latest trend in fashions. But then, they have their elders as sage examples to follow. Sample sentences 1. The charlatan was able to wheedle money out of the naive audience with a glib talk on the medicine that would expunge pain. 2. They could not follow the trend of his ideas, but his verbal dexterity galvanized the gullible listeners. 3. They were engrossed as an ill man was cured before their eyes, some of the more urbane said it was ledger domain. 4. He ingratiated himself into their confidence, and the malleable crowd was shaped into a subjugated mass. 5. While they started out as individuals, they became a homogeneous group whom he could motivate as he willed. Week 38 Day 2 The Economics of Fashion In dress, the fashion appears to be set by a few foreign designers and a handful of affluent individuals who purchase these designs. The fashion industry is cognizant of the fact that fashions must change rapidly and often or their economy would become stagnant. For this industry it would prove fatal if it were not vigilant and prepared well in advance for a new fashion trend. As the old fashion becomes passé and a new fashion seems to be in the making, the garment manufacturers cannot afford to procrastinate. They rush large sums of money into production for a mass market. Having invested heavily, the manufacturers do everything possible to influence and motivate the purchasers. Through every facet of publicity and advertising the industry exploits the natural desire for people to be au current with the latest fashions. Sample sentences 1. To the consternation of the distraught parents they learned their son was accused of using the lethal weapon on that fatal occasion. 2. We wish for halcyon days when the warlike solutions will have become passé. 3. Edna recalled with nostalgia many facet of her school days. 4. We all tend to procrastinate when faced with an unsavory task. 5. The iconoclast has the propensity for reproaching those who feel complacent with leading a stagnant existence. Week 38 Day 3 What next? Once the fashion industry has been able to foist a new style on the teenager, the older generation tends to stigmatize it as some form of rebellion. What is often ignored is that the young consumers capitulate to what is originated by someone outside of their group. The feelings of individuality and audacity that the teenager gets from a new style of dress, result from the propensity of their elders to disparage them. The actual situation is that the clothing fashions soon become accepted by all. There is nothing upsetting or revolutionary about them. While people are becoming complacent about that new, the clothing industry is busy planning how to tantalize the teenager with next year's fashion. This arbitrary decision is guaranteed to foment consternation among adults once again in the following year. Sample sentences 1. Despite tenacious resistance, they were ousted from the strong point and had to capitulate to the enemy. 2. It was an asinine thing to do. To stigmatize his opponent as a bigot and thus exacerbate an already bitter campaign. 3. It is common to hear people disparage those who paint in the modern genre. They speak about the audacity of the artist who submits a high white canvas with a black border as a serious work. 4. They are dubious of such an artist and accuse him of trying to foist as a work of art a rudimentary exercise. 5. It is reprehensible to tantalize a young child with the promise of a reward for being good when you have no intention of giving it. Week 38 Day 4 Something for everyone To the derogatory comments from the older generation, the teenagers might retort that new fashions and styles are adopted by the elders with alacrity. 
Though they complain, women emulate their daughters by shortening or lengthening their hems. They may appear reticent about the bother and expense of altering their wardrobe, but they give tacit approval to the change, by rushing to the department stores, where they jostle each other to buy copies of the more expensive dresses. The conclusion one might reach, after observing how women countenance the arbitrary changes year after year, is that they are naive or victims of some chicanery, practiced by the clothing industry. Women may appear hapless before the intimidation of style, but the real truth may lie in the fact that they are so docile, because they secretly enjoy the yearly excitement around the latest fashions. Sample Sentences 1. The reporter divulged the blatant chicanery involved in the awarding of the contract. 2. Even the most docile person may become fractious when he gets only a pittance for his hard labor. 3. His egregious behavior brought a tacit reproach to his mother's eyes. 4. Most politicians are reticent when asked to divulge their ambitions. 5. He refused to retort to the rash question about his propensity for imbibing.